guys, I'm Jen and this is my friend Mia and we're gonna do a style profile on her and right now we're in London. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Nia and my channel here on YouTube is Nia Says. I live here in London. I'm a student. I'm a law student. I really, really hate it. Um, I'm originally from Hong Kong. Yeah, that's about it. I feel like most of my money goes towards handbags because I feel like they're more of an investment and I will use them now and I think I would be using them 20 years down the line. Peng, yeah. P-E-N-G. Peng, Peng, which means hot. Bint, which kind of means slut, I think. Which is bad. Maybe I shouldn't curse on this video. <laughs> I like the stuff that they have in London, but I feel like everyone in London kind of has the same thing. So I, in the set where shopping wise, I like shopping in Hong Kong just because it's cheaper as well. Um, I kind of think that people in London are more fashion forward and um, they have more of a unique style. But then at the same time, both of them have their pros and cons. But overall, I would say Hong Kong just because I could shop in Hong Kong, I wear my stuff here, and then I kind of stand out more. Then I would always suggest Brick Lane, Portobello Market, or the Notting Hill area. Um, I also think Carnaby Street has a few uh, kind of vintage stores. A lot of people say that they don't want to wear a certain thing just because they're afraid that it might look, not look good on them. They're afraid that their friends might laugh at them. They're afraid that it's not really considered fashionable. And the way I look at it is, if you want to wear something, you should wear it. I don't think your body size should matter. I don't think you, the way your shape should matter. I don't think if you're tall or short, I don't think that should matter. I think if you like something, you should wear it. If you're like me, I wouldn't necessarily go out in a boob tube um, and kind of have your bits hanging out, but um, I would definitely say that if you want to wear something, you should go for it. I like the accent, but everyone kind of assumes that everyone in this country speaks like Hugh Grant, which is completely false. A lot of them have terrible English, actually. Um, I would say that Americans sometimes speak better English than the British people do. We have these kind of people called chavs. Um, they wear a lot of gold jewelry and tracksuit bottoms, like pajama bottoms that you would wear. Um, they kind of wear it walking around on the street. Um, they're often topless. They don't speak very good English. There is a lot of hype surrounding British boys, and I would say that the hype is false. Thank you <laughs> You're welcome. for clearing that up. <laughs> 